Good evening, everybody. How are we all doing? Uh, so, thought I'd do a little bit of an update for the Sierra uh, D model kit, Sierra Cosworth kit that we're building uh, for the under 1000 GB group build. Um, trying to get some subscribers up, I believe, is what the game is all about. Um, showing off our model skills and stuff like that. So, I thought I'd join in on that, and uh, yeah, I've been cracking on. Um, I showed you all the paint on it last time and now I've been doing a few more intricate de details shall we say. So we'll start off with the seats. I'm going to go for a bit of a road car spec on this one but more road car turned track car. So we're still going to have all the interior sort of race car spec and the roll cage and all the safety equipment in there. Um, but the seats are not your normal style seats, they are carbon wrapped back on them. Um, first time I've ever done decals of this size. They didn't come out too bad, but they definitely there's definitely room for improvement on them. There's a lot of creases on them, but overall they, they give off the right look. And I'm throwing them away, naturally. Uh, this is the other one actually. So yeah, this one's... Uh, well, this one come out a little bit better. It sort of fits around the edges nicer. You can just about see it in the light there. But again, still quite a lot of creases and stuff in it. The back is actually meant to have that shaping into it, which is quite cool. And I'm glad that I managed to get the decals to cover those nicely. Um, so yeah, that's the seats. And we'll move on to the rear. Well, I think it's got a bulkhead in the back, which comes with a lovely little uh, medic kit in the boot uh, on the thing and a uh, warning triangle I believe it is which apparently you need for rally cars but the decal quality on this is absolutely stunning really impressed with the quality of the uh, decals on this kit I apologize I'm trying to get it to focus it's not focusing very well so there's that bit and that moves us on to the dashboard now there's a lot of bits on this that I really like Bear with me, I'm going to try and get this to focus now. There we go. Lots of uh, lots of buttons to play with, lots of switches to paint and stuff. I just went with a simple black on most of them. Decals in there, decals in on the uh, on the gauges and stuff like that, on the dials, and then kill switch, and I believe that's a pull cord for a fire extinguisher as well. Put a nice little yellow strip on the top of the. Uh, steering wheel there on the point of that yellow strip any recommendations on paint um, I'm starting to get a little bit fed up with the Tamiya stuff um, I've been told Mr Hobby is the one to go for for brush painting that's all I use to the paints for I don't use an airbrush as, as I've mentioned before um, but if anyone's got any uh, any tips on those is Mr. Hobby any good? Is it going to help me out? Is it not? There's your door cards for the interior as well. Tried using a, I think it's German grey, which is pretty much bang on for the old plasticky Ford interiors from the back in the day. Done both the sides of that. Nice little bit of gloss on them as well, just to uh, break them up a little bit. They've come out real nice. They look a bit patchy in the light, but in, in person they don't look at all patchy. So I'm assuming that's just my camera picking up actual details rather than hiding them. And then we've got the sh interior base. Lots of goodies on this one. So I've got the big square fuel tank. Uh, I believe that is a coolant reservoir for the diff or something like that uh, built-in fire extinguisher hydraulic handbrake uh, the quick shifter gear stick another little fire extinguisher for the footwell for the driver a little plate in there for your footrest on the drivers and passenger side pedals are in nice as well this has come out really nice. I'm really happy with how this looks. Obviously, there's no carpet, so we've got a nice big black mat in the front there as well. That's actually 
part of the kit is designed like the the, the molding is pressed into it like that so yeah that's pretty pretty smart i love the fact it's got the heater box on it as well like that's not on most kits is it let's be honest so it's quite nice to see that in there and then last bit for the update today i built the chassis up last night that is a curbside kit um but i tell you what the detail on the suspension on this this is probably the most intricate suspension stuff i've i've built so far it's got little link rods on it and they're all individual parts the whole rear anti-roll bar all individual um tried my first ever go anodizing on the uh hang on let me find a pointy stick here i've got a pointy stick yeah somewhere around here there we go so this bit here is the fuel line connectors this is the bottom of the fuel tank in the car and i think they've come out quite nice the little anodized blue on them and then we've got all the engine and front suspension and stuff like that focus camera i sound like matt from model car videos now look there we go you can see it there look that looks better than that so yeah we've uh got quite a lot of detail in the uh, engine and gearbox side of it and like I said suspension is probably the most intricate I've built up working steering on it not that it wants to move today but it does all work so yeah very happy with my progress so far not far off uh, putting it together now to be honest we've got um, some photo etch parts to go on and we've got some um harnesses to make up for the seats uh, roll cage to go in and then we're on to sort of detailing the body up and a few extra details on the chassis uh like the radiator to go in and the frame excuse me the frame around it but other than that yeah i think we're there it's making nice progress today so i'm gonna crack on that's so out of focus that is terrible what's going on with this camera tonight there we go um yeah, so any recommendations on paint? Uh, is Mr. Hobby good for brush painting? If there is, I've seen that there's like four different variations. You've got the Aquas, 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 I don't know, uh, which is the water-based ones. Then you've got the GX, I believe it is, uh, the standard Mr. Hobby, and then I'm assuming the metallics are just the golds and silvers. Uh, but again, if you know what's better for brush painting, please let me know in the comments. I'm also adding in an email address. If you wanted to contact me privately, um, I've, I've set up an email address specifically for uh, the model YouTube channel. So yeah, if you want to contact me on there, it's in the comment or the, yeah, yeah I think it's classed as the comments um, in the description below the video. Uh, so they'll be in there and yeah, feel free to leave a comment, like, share, um, and please, if you don't already, give me a subscribe because that, that's, that's the only reason I'm here is to, to show my, my work off. Um, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon. Bye bye.